No diet has been shown to have direct effects on MS disease activity. What we do know is that you can use a healthy lifestyle to manage and prevent other comorbidities that could have an impact on how MS affects you. The Mediterranean diet is one of the most studied diets out there, with scientific data proving its benefits. In fact, in 2019, US News and World Report ranked 40 different diets and listed the Mediterranean diet as number one, calling it eminently sensible and giving it high marks for heart health and diabetes management and prevention. The Mediterranean diet is more of a pattern of eating rather than a diet. It's easier to stick to than many other diets because it's so well balanced. You're still encouraged to eat whole grains, healthy fats, meats in varying degrees, as well as infrequent sweets and wine. There is a detailed handout in today's program, which you can download from mscenter.org slash edsummit, but here are the basics. The Mediterranean diet is high in vegetables, fruit, whole grains, beans, nuts and seeds, and olive oil. It includes daily consumption of vegetables, fruits, whole grains, and healthy fats, weekly intake of fish, poultry, beans, and eggs, moderate portions of dairy products, and limited red meat. Meals are built around plant-based foods. Now, the two biggest areas that I have trouble with being healthy are what to eat when I'm out of the house and meal prepping so I'm not spending all my time in the kitchen. I have tips for you on both of these. When I went to the grocery store to see what types of easy, healthy snacks I could find, I was amazed at how many options there are out there. The biggest thing to think about while at the grocery store is your resources. Are you looking to save time or money? There are some places where you can save both, but usually there's a trade-off. If you're just looking for one quick single serving snack to take to a doctor's appointment, there are many options to buy. If you're looking to pack a snack in a school bag or for work every day of the week, you might need to buy in bulk and portion out yourself. I would strongly suggest investing in some good plastic containers that you can reuse. I've got a ton of them. And if you're home all day, I would still strongly suggest portioning out the snacks as soon as you open a package. Don't rely on yourself to only grab a handful of nuts or one serving of cheese, because even though these snacks are in your eating plan, they can still be high in calories and fat, so you will want to monitor and limit how much you're eating. Many of the pre-packaged snacks also have added sugar, so just take a look at the nutrition label before deciding to purchase to make sure that it's truly healthy for you. Now, before we head to the grocery store, I thought it might be fun to see just what I had in my kitchen. Um, this is stuff that I just normally have in my kitchen. Um, little single servings of cheese. I've almost always got a little single serving portion of nuts in my purse because they're great, they don't go bad. Um, some single servings of peanut butter, almond butter actually. Um, for meal prepping, uh, quinoa and brown rice. It's already made, it's just 90 seconds in the microwave. Um, so I don't have to worry about cooking brown rice, which can sometimes take a long time. Uh, and some baby carrots. All right, let's head to the grocery store and see what I found. I do apologize for the quality of some of the pictures. I was trying not to touch things as much as possible, um, but I wanted to give you guys real life examples of what I found in my grocery store. Because the Mediterranean diet focuses so much on fruits and veggies, these are hands down going to be your healthiest choice. Many fruits come in their own convenient packaging and don't need constant cooling, such as bananas, oranges, apples, and more. If you're going to be eating them within a few hours, consider packing a small container of berries or grapes. Watch out for added sugars if you're gonna eat fruit cups though, though avoid ones that are packed in syrup. You can also pre-chop a bag of veggies like broccoli, baby carrots, peppers, or celery if you like to eat them raw. Most grocery stores and many coffee shops have single serving versions of pre-cut items for you as well. The produce section of my grocery store had many options and combinations to suit any flavor preferences. You can always use the store items as inspiration and recreate them cheaper at home 
in reusable packaging. Again, considering what resource is more limited for you, time and energy or money. Hummus and white bean dip and whole grain crackers and veggies travel well. You can prep a big batch of hummus or buy single serving packages. You can buy pre-packaged and portioned packs of nuts and dried fruits at the store or buy in bulk and portion yourself. It's especially important to portion out nuts and seeds because they are high in calorie. Almonds, cashews, peanuts, walnuts, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds. Again, be sure to look out for added sugars in dried fruits or pre-made trail mixes. If your meals don't contain a lot of cheese, you can eat that for a snack. There are lots of prepackaged options out there. If you don't use eggs in your breakfast, single hard boiled eggs are becoming increasingly available. There's even packs of olives. Now, investing in some good travel containers will make prepping your own snacks easier. There are also many options for meal prep containers that keep foods separate, but still in one easy to store in the fridge container. So many options for travel snacks. Let's talk meal prep. This is another area of eating where you will want to have to consider the trade-off between time, energy, and cost. There are increasing options for prepped items at the grocery store, but they usually cost more. You will also want to make sure that they don't have added ingredients or preservatives. My number one tip that saves me tons of time in the kitchen is to cook once and eat twice or more. This works especially well with soup. You can make a large batch of soup and freeze portions for other meals. Make sure to use freezer Ziploc bags and to let the food cool in the fridge before you transfer it to the freezer. Don't put hot food in the freezer. The Mediterranean diet has many delicious soup options like Greek lemon chicken soup, tomato basil soup, or white bean tomato and shrimp soup. On that note, double any meal that you can and freeze a portion for another night. Some meals do better when you half cook or assemble them before freezing, like casseroles. I buy these aluminum containers that come with a cardboard lid to portion out my casseroles and freeze half. Make sure that the meat is pre-cooked before you freeze it though, and completely thaw the meal before you cook it, which may require you to take it out of the freezer two days before you plan to cook it. Mornings are hectic enough without trying to make a whole meal every time. You could make a crustless quiche with Mediterranean veggies on the weekend, and then you'll have breakfast ready-made for most of the week. Meal plan ahead of time and consider using the same veggies twice, but cutting bulk batches on the same night. For instance, cucumbers, tomatoes can be added to a lot of things. Just store the extra in an airtight container in the fridge. Leftover fish from dinner can also be lunch or two dinners. You could turn the second portion of fish into shredded uh, Greek fish, Greek shredded fish tacos using mini whole wheat pita and cabbage garnish. I often cook double the amount of chicken that I need and shred half of it to freeze for another meal. There are lots of bagged salad mixes out there, including Greek, which come with literally everything in one package except a protein. They've got a pre-portioned dressing, so you can't go too crazy with that. It's usually some toppings and seasonings. Um, really any of these salad mixes would be good as long as you don't go crazy on the dressing. This is where I would use that additional portion of chicken that I had cooked earlier in the week. I would just add it to this bagged salad mix and bam, easy dinner. Some stores even have pre-made quinoa salad and there are options for prepped fish that you just put in the oven as well. I have started using cauliflower rice in at least one meal a week. This is one of those things that I am willing to buy prepped for me because the cost is still pretty low. And I actually get mine at Costco, which makes it even cheaper than the grocery store. I've seen these pre-cut veggies at the store, uh, but I don't usually use them because for me, that cost trade-off is a little too high. 
However, if I know that I'm going to be very short on time or energy, I would consider picking up some pre-cut veggies. Frozen veggies are also a really good idea because they are picked at peak freshness and flash frozen. Canned veggies can be another time saver. These stir fry kits look like fantastic options for less chopping time. The key here is really to make sure you know about all of the options available at your grocery store. Take a walk around, look at all the different sections, see what they've got. And then when you're doing your meal planning for the week, consider what your days look like. You may need to, to spend a little more on a couple of meals to make them less time. And then also on those days that surprise you when you just are fatigued or don't have the energy to cook, if you've saved a portion of previous meals, you can just defrost something to cook easily. You can also make a big batch of Mediterranean pasta salad using whole grain pasta, then use it as a side dish for more than one night. For a great protein snack, you might make a big batch of falafel and freeze them before you bake them, then use them in a meal or just take out a few at a time to cook for a snack or breakfast. I even found pre-made falafel at my local grocery store. One of the things that I love about the Mediterranean diet is that many times a meal is just picking four or so Mediterranean foods and putting them together on a plate or in a bowl. So you could buy hummus, Use a portion of your pre-cooked chicken or fish, some olives, some feta cheese, and pre-made tzatziki sauce. Toss it all on a bowl of toss it all in a bowl of greens or quinoa or couscous, and call it good. You can prepare several items over the weekend and mix and match them for meals during the week, or maybe just prep one thing that's going to make getting dinner together easier later in the week. It's about experimenting and finding what works for you. During quarantine, I've designated Friday evening for takeout. It's nice to know that there's one day a week where I'm not cooking a thing or doing many dishes. It gives me the mental energy and space to focus on healthier eating during the rest of the week. I strive for balance, not perfection.